for sure my most popular video has been one on frameworks on how to use uh, Rome for certain things and because there's been no updates from, uh, from Rome for end users I haven't been updating much either so today we're gonna see something something that I call new day and which is my framework to uh, journal and to plan my day and to process my inboxes now the very first thing you'll notice is that there's something a page not something a page called day plan and then there's a page called day log on the day plan what I what I see is just a bird's eye view of my day so I use this as a headline we'll see this the headline for the day what the day is about my personal status and the things that I achieved that day and here is the day log which would be more like the detailed minute by minute journal of what I do. Now let's start with the headline. For me today it's about updating my Rome Masterclass and working on something that I call the plan. So let's write that out. Sometimes as well uh, I will put some comments here if I want to add to my headline but I don't do that very often. Then we have the status. Here we have three colors and this relates to how, how do I feel. Right now I'm in green. However, if I'm in orange or in red, what I like to do is to add here uh, the reason of that. For me, orange is I'm not feeling great, but you know, it's still quite a normal day and I, you know, still do my stuff. Red is I'm feeling sick or I'm feeling really bad. So let's pretend I'm in orange. In this case, what I would do is explain right away what happens to me. If it's mood related, I could say. Now, one of the values of having this here is that if I click on it, then my stress page comes out with all of my insights, things that I want to remember, facts and sources, which uh, usually even a diary, sorry, even a diary of the last times I felt uh, stressed in this case. And this usually already helps me, right? Because when you feel stressed, sometimes you resolve it sooner or you resolve it. Sometimes you resolve it and then you're like, oh, well, uh, talking with friends uh, helped me. I remember that from the last time. Here we go. And if I'm stressed still and I don't know what could help me at that moment, then I go, well, you know, reading here, I wrote down that reading helped me. So maybe I could try this today. And this, of course, takes us to the day log where we organize how we want to have our days. But before that, let's go to uh, currently pondering. Currently pondering, as you can see, is a link to another page, precisely to another block, right? So what I do here, I like it to have it here because I, I like to ponder about things every day. And what I do is I open this on the sidebar. These are the things that I'm pondering about, but let's go, let's go to my ponder page. Let's say, no, this, I'm not pondering about it at the moment, but no, let's, yeah, okay, let's ponder this, this week, right? And it updates here. So instead of seeing the whole page with, you know, again, diary, pomodoros, uh, stuff that I want to ponder over there and all that information which is completely unnecessary I just focus on what I'm currently pondering about and what I do next is I delete this this is open here I can minimize it as well and then what I always do is open my inbox and this is key because this will allow me to go on and organize my day log this stays here until I've pondered about it or until I decide that I don't want to ponder about it anymore and then I just close it and then into the inbox. Usually my inbox will be always open here on the side. That's why it's in the shortcuts as well. But you'll see how it interacts with my with my day log. Now before we get into this, I almost forgot. Here on the status, I have several icons that I use. For example, if I meditated that day, I add this. If I didn't eat meat that day, I add this. And these are things that uh, mean different things to me. So again, through the day plan, I just have a bird's eye view of everything, including things that achieved or mm, things that didn't work out so well for me. Now, before I even start with the day log, what I do is uh, update all my inboxes, email, things, Twitter, whatever, and I put everything here under this line. Today, I have this. And what I would do now is move this into its place in my inbox, for example. 
uh, update my masterclass YouTube channel. We'll keep it here for now. Prepare an emergency kit in case that I need uh, emergency painkillers. That would be personal for sure. And this one graphic here would go into my flitting notes page. So I would copy this and let's call it. And now my inbox is all clean. I do have here this uh, one item, which is what I'm doing right now. But uh, let's just very briefly look a bit more into this. So my uh, chores, let's choose this one for later on today. And that's it, basically. Personal, professional writing, I will go through them later. And my food plan, which is something that you might be interested in. What I do is every week, today we are on week four, uh, of the year, I make a lunch plan with uh, lunch, dinner, breakfast, snacks, ideas. Uh, if I know the recipe, for example, uh, keto pizza is here in Rome, but uh, I don't know, a salad, I don't even have a recipe, I don't put anything. If there is uh, a recipe that I'm following, I just put the page here. I don't need to put the book usually, but here it would be if I want it, or if I was using several books for the week, I would go like this, for example. And then, uh, again, bird's eye view of what I have available to eat every day. And I can just click on whatever I'm going to eat and to scratch it off the list. What's also interesting is that I have a shopping list here related to these recipes, minus uh, what I have in the pantry. And this way, every week when I have to come up with a new food plan, I either uh, write it from scratch or I, based on whatever I want, the season, etc., or I just go to my food and cooking page. That's right, here it is. And I would just move this into my food and cooking page. And there I have really like 30 food plans. And I can, based on the number of the week, I can know what season it is. And I can just pick and choose. And my shopping list is already created. One way you could customize your, your, your day plan is to have, for example, Pomodoros here. And uh, I don't know, meditation. Let's put it like this. So I used to have this in the in the past. If you see my masterclass, you will see uh, my day plan used to look like this with a few other things. Nowadays, uh, this is what I use. Now let's jump into the day log. First of all, let me update it up to the point we are at in the day today. Now my startup is when I run through several things in my inbox, etc. For now it's empty because I'm showing you, but here I would list everything that I do on my startup. Morning routine, I don't list everything. I don't have to list that I took a shower, not necessary. But here the next item would be this, and I would move it like this. And I started doing this at 9.30, update my masterclass, YouTube channel. Uh, it's all detailed here, what we're gonna talk about. But you know, I don't want to have it open because it takes a lot of space. So what I'm gonna do is open it here on the sidebar and just work through it. Now we're on the day log, and what I'm gonna do at this point here is move from logging, from journaling, to the plan. Anything below this line here is what I plan to do with my day. So for example, today I expect to finish at uh, 2.30 and then I would have my lunch break. And for now I would leave it like this. I also like to bold this. And obviously whenever I get, for example, into my study, I can just zoom in and even zoom in here and then just you know completely focus on this. Now let's imagine that I'm done with my uh, masterclass update. I would just move the line down here. And this way, you know, journaling is up here and the planning remains down here. Now, why is journaling important? I'm gonna leave you a link down below in the description, but basically like Ryan Holiday says, it's the conversation we have with ourselves about who we want to be and how far we are from that. And Rome is perfect for that thanks to you know all the references and the pages for everything and blogs and sub blogs and focusing it really allows you to journal like a professional so all that is done and now let's move into uh, future me down here you might know of a service called uh, future me here it is where you can write uh, yourself a letter for whenever you want and make it private public and it's a great way to talk to yourself and usually it surprises you because you, you, you forget. So what I did here is basically do that. So for example, let's say that I want to remind myself in a year 
that that I hope that I'm already in Utah doing my things with my new friends etc that's a way to leave myself a message there and why is it interesting because whenever I reach that day in the future I will reach it and I will have a linked reference to my hope here but most importantly I will also have the day plan here and I can see I will be able to see what I thought what I felt everything uh, from that day and that will give me context on this idea here for that I use future me but if what I want to remember myself in the future is something that is not as important or as significant what I would do is just use the search bar say next Tuesday and then right here you do that's it. This doesn't need any context. It's just uh, a way for me to find stuff here to do and to move it into my inbox. And for one, for whatever reason, I want it to be on February the 1st, but you know, it doesn't need more context. So I'm not going to use future me for this. If I want to add something into the future, I just add the calendar here and say, okay, so 28th do this, 29th do that other thing. So there's a third way to talk to yourself in the future. And actually the example that I used before uh, would be very useful. So here's, I don't know, a message of hope that I want, whenever I want it, I want to recover the context on it. So I would use future me. And then there is, I don't know, something specific, date specific that I want to remember for whatever reason on the first. So a third way would be to use a Delta. For example, I could follow up on my friend Milton and let's set the Delta to three days. No, that's too much. Uh, five days, right? So I can decide where I want uh, to put this. If I'm not sure which is the case, then I would just leave it here. And if I end up doing it on my free time, then I would move it into the free time to keep it locked, right? But with the deltas, as, as you probably know, what you get is repetition. So we set it to five days. Uh, once I've done it, I click and see, in five days, it would actually be the first. And here it is and once I click it again or if I feel at that point that five days is too much or too little I change the Delta here and uh, whenever I click it it will move into the future so this way um, I can have either out of context things that I want to do on a certain days repetition or uh, notes to myself uh, for for the future with the whole context and that's how future me works just as final notes I tweak this as I go uh, usually what I would do is go to templates and then of course uh, work on whatever I want to change or add into my template. This way every day I can just recall it precisely how I want. One thing that I would like to add here but which is outside the scope of the masterclass is smart blocks so that I can just have for example a blast from the past and here have a smart block that randomly uh, recalls uh, a block from the past a day log from the past a status from the past so that i can see how i felt and what my hopes or what my ambitions were on a random day in the past which for sure would give me plenty of perspective but again this is a bit outside of the scope of the master class which is focused on um, new user updates and learning to use ROM from zero to a fully competent user without uh, perhaps all of these advanced things or uh, complicated add-ons. So that's it. Hope you liked it and see you in the next one.